Hey everyone, I'm Bianca. Welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a long time since I made a video. Well, it's been a week. Uh, last week was spring break and I decided to go ahead and take the whole week off because of course I had all of my kids home from school and we had so much going on. You know, I wanted to spend time with the kids and my husband and we had so many like different parties for uh, like birthday parties and uh, for St. Patrick's Day and stuff like that. So I took all last week off and it felt so good. I feel well rested and now I'm ready to make four videos for you guys this week. At least three to four this week because I know I need to catch up. So today I'm gonna just make a little decorate with me video. I bought some more home decor from Hobby Lobby and specifically today I want to work on my coffee table. I bought this really, really pretty decor tray and I wanna decorate it and whichever way I like best, I'm gonna leave it like that. I think I'm gonna show you guys three different ways, you know, and then you can tell me which one was your favorite. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this is the tray that I just bought. Sorry. <laughs> it is pretty big. It's a pretty big tray. If I want to put, you know, just a few things or a lot, it, it'll be totally fine. It'll fit perfect on here. So what I want to do is, I'm not going to have it straight like that. I feel like that's too plain. I'm going to put it sideways like that. I like the look better that way. Okay, so the first way... I'm going to show you it's gonna be really simple um, remember guys these are just ideas of what you can do or use if you have stuff around the house in different spots you can totally move it to a different area in your house and I promise you it will be like it's brand new so this is a piece that I called from Hobby Lobby on clearance and then I just have some Hobby Lobby lavender. I do have a little floral foam right here. I'm not really using it to stick it in there. I'm just using it for height. So these could be kind of lifted up a little. And then this, I actually made that. I also made these books and everything that I used for this was all from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so this is just a really simple look. Okay, that picture is from Hobby Lobby. And then I just have some pretty florals and eucalyptus that I'm gonna put in here. And this little house is from the Target Dollar Spot. Hobby Lobby. I love this because I feel like this just makes this vase look so pretty. It just says farm fresh, milk and cream. It has a little cow. And to that vase, I'm adding these little white flowers from Michael's that I got on clearance as well. And then last but not least to that, I'm adding this little pretty wooden farmhouse sign that just says home. And even though it's really simple, I think it just brings out the whole thing. The, this last and final way I'm going to show you is going to be a really full look. The first thing I'm going to add to that is this little Target Dollar Spot cake stand. And then to that, I'm going to add, um, I actually made this out of Dollar Tree items and then I have this greenery. And I'm just going to set it in here because I've really been wanting to use this pot. I haven't used it yet. And then I'm gonna add this blessed sign that I've used before. Boy, if you've seen my latest videos, you've seen a lot of this stuff. Okay, and then again, I'm gonna be using the black candlestick. And the white pitcher again. And to the white pitcher, I'm gonna add that lavender again. And last but not least, you guys have not seen this sign. I haven't showed it to you yet. I got this really pretty sign from Hobby Lobby. It just says, together is my favorite place to be. I'm gonna just set it right here. And then it has this to hang it up. 
So I do want to show the beads. So I'm just going to have like half of it hanging right here so you can really see the beads because I think the beads are very pretty. All right, you guys, so that is it for this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. So let me know in the comments below which one you like best. And yeah, I'm almost at 10,000 subscribers, guys. I am so thankful and excited for that. Thank you all so much if you have subscribed or even if you just watch my videos. I really appreciate it. I am really thankful and I am going to be doing a giveaway soon for that. If you're not subscribed yet, please do so and that way you can continue to see my decorating videos and uh, Dollar Tree DIYs. I love, those are my favorite videos to make. So I'll see you next time. Bye guys.